Hi coach, this is Len from the Subtime team. I will show you how to quit and run a game. For this demo, we'll use the demo team comes with the app. On the team screen, choose quit game and select players available for the game. Let's say Tim is not around for that day. I will just say continue. Click on the clock, uh, game clock, and make sure you have the correct game duration and number of periods. And these are carried over uh, from the team default. You could change the formation as well, uh, either with system provide formation or create your own customer formation. There's a separate walkthrough on how to manage your uh, uh, customer formation. You may check that out. Click on any of the position. It will allow you to edit the tag name and all the group they belong to. To fill the lineup, you can just drag players into their uh, respective position, or you can click use the card and just select players that uh, assign to that position. Similarly, you could also use the lineup page and autofill with autofill it or uh, select the formation you uh, lineup you saved earlier. Here, you could always save your lineup for future use. I'll just show you how that works. So, lineup two is uh, now listed. You can always uh, select. If you have if you have a substitute uh, subplan in mind, you can create a sub subplan as well. Um, you could either uh, use auto plan, or just uh, manually set up the subplan. Okay, so uh, for this demo, I will just remove the subplan. Just to show how to run the game without subplan. Now you are you are. You're pretty ready to start the game. You can save your game plan for few uh, if your game is not ready, happen right away. Let's say uh, versus Man City. All right, and you could quit uh, your setup anytime. See uh, the here you can see the game plan we created versus Man City. At the game day, choose your game plan, and you could click play to start the game. Uh, in the middle, you will see the field, it, the, the top timer, so let me adjust the time first for that, uh, just to explain this better. So the, the top clock number is the playing time uh, for the individual player. And the bottom one, if it is field player, it could be either the times at the current position or the time they have on the field. Let's say I sub in, uh, Grace in with, uh, and sub out uh, a Frank, you will see Frank's game time stay at five minutes. And let's say move another five minutes, you will see uh, Grace have five minutes um, in playing time and five minutes on that position. Cool. For the bench players, uh, the number at the bottom is the time they have been spent on the, on the bench. In this case, friends, Frank has been on the bench for five minutes since last subbed out. Let me pause the game so we can go over some other controls. Uh, the game options allow you to change the clock display and other display uh, um, choices. Like for example, if you want to show the position tag or you want to have a bigger player uh, circle, etc. Uh, auto end periods allow you to end the periods automatically based on number of periods you have and the game duration. Uh, for details about the options, you can always click on the information icon it, to learn more. You could also choose to uh, start a live game session. Uh, this is not applicable for demo team, uh, but there is a separate video on live game session if you want to learn more. It would allow other uh, team members you share the team with uh, to uh, view the game in progress. Here you could add a goal by your team or from another team. 
And here, the plus button allows you to add any events that uh, come with, with the app or your customer defined. This allows you to see everything has happened so far in the game, including subs, lineup, and the events. Uh, remember that uh, when we start a game, Tim was not available. Let's say Tim come join come to the game late, so we could use the atten attendance page to add the any miss any player come to the game late or mark anyone like who actually have to leave game early. Uh, here is a reminder clock that you can set yourself. Uh, let's say as three minutes I want to allow myself to make a sub, I can just uh, click create a reminder, uh, the clock will start and it will ring and uh, vibrate uh, at a three minute mark. Uh, you can always adjust the game clock as I just did in case your clock is not in line with the, ag uh, uh, with the actual game clock. Uh, similarly, you can adjust the game duration even within the game. Let's say that you have a 90 minutes regular game, now you need to add a overtime 30 minutes to it. You can use, uh, you can update game duration to 120 minutes and change the number period to 3 to account for the overtime. Uh, you, you can always play and pause the game. And if your period ends, you can always click this just to end the period. Let's say end the first period and start the second half. Uh, when the so there is a different ways to make the subs as I explained a little bit before the um, about when before the game start. You could either drag and drop players over there, or uh, click a player that uh, was onto a, a position. You can use the player card for it. Let's say that uh, I have uh, subs that uh, uh, need to happen soon, uh, but they're they, uh, just waiting at the sideline. I could drag them to their desired position and click the sub button, and whenever the ref gave the, um, gave the approval to sub. This we call like pending subs. Um, you may find this useful, so you don't have to remember who is subbing who um, and during the game. Cool. Uh, to end the game, just click the end button. Just end, and it give you a very detailed summary of uh, the game. A lot of information that are entered in the game uh, can be edited. For example, the sub time, you could edit, or the um, or the events, you could delete the event or edit the the edit individual events. Let's say the goalie, I could change the goalie, and uh, yeah. Um, open and go, and uh, I can change who scored the goal. Similarly, um, all the, once the game is done, you can find all your uh, old games in the game summary, and it also give you a nice uh, uh, summary of the statistics of your players, including their uh, minutes minutes per game and all the events that you you recorded. And that's it. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to contact the developer through the app or visit our FAQ page. Happy coaching!